My wife of two years just told me she doesn't plan on staying married forever. What am I supposed to say to that? We got into a small argument, misunderstanding because I didn't call out a friend so saying. Something inappropriate last weekend. Not directed at her. And she was under the impression that I was okay with what he said. I told her I wasn't but I wasn't going to lecture my friend. I asked her why she thought I was okay with it and she said it was because she knows how I am. I didn't agree and asked if that's how you think I am. Why did you agree to marry me? She then said it's fine because she doesn't plan on being married forever anyways so she seems to be perfectly okay with getting a divorce at some point in our lives. I asked her why don't we just end it now and save ourselves the trouble and she said, only if you want to. To add to that, she's 10 weeks pregnant so we're getting ready to bring a child into the world. Perhaps it's just the hormones? Talk to her about it when you're both no longer angry. Find out if she really doesn't want to be married. What did her friend say last weekend? I was friends with a couple who were married, but somehow had agreed that every five years they would sit down and discuss if they wanted to be married for the next five years. Like a limited term contract with an option to continue. It made no sense to me at the time and sure enough 10 years later they decided enough was enough and got divorced. Not my concept of marriage. But apparently it was what they wanted. I think I would have a problem if one partner was thinking marriage was temporary while the other thought it was a lifetime commitment. Yikes. Both of you escalated the argument quickly. I'd let your heads cool down and sit down later and discuss what she meant by that and what about. The relationship is not working out. Hopefully it's something stupid she said in the heat of the moment. It's very possible a mix of pregnancy hormones and her insecurities about her body getting bigger are behind why she took that comment so personally. She then feels that because you didn't tell your mate to shut his trap that you agreed with him. Feeding into her insecurities of what you might think of her body when she is further along in her pregnancy. She therefore feels that you didn't stand up for her and defend her. You don't need to agree with her. But right now she needs reassurance that you don't think negatively against larger women. This all seems a bit crazy. But the first trimester is fucking hard on us. It is arguably the most exhausting part of pregnancy. The most amount of development happens in the first trimester. And it is incredibly taxing on our bodies. Plus our boobs hurt. We feel like shit. We feel nauseous as fuck. Hormones are going crazy. And our clothes start getting uncomfortable and tight. Some women really don't cope well mentally with all of these things. And we tend to lash out at those closest to us. You may need to brace yourself for the coming months. I think perhaps because she is having a baby she is subconsciously looking for small reasons to see you as a potential threat or issue. This, to me, seems kinda biologically natural and a coherent natural response to the prospect of childbearing. If you're going to turn on her or if you're unsafe or not committed she needs to know now instead of in the future after you are all even more deeply enmeshed and she is too crippled by bonded offspring to run, or in more modern times too hamstrung by bonded offspring to get herself away from someone who could be potentially dangerous either socially, sexually, mentally or physically making her and her child unsafe. Words can trigger primitive responses the same way actions can. It's why you might find that if you begin pressuring someone for sex it can actually first increase but ultimately Decrease their sex drive, sex in the relationship, because the anxiety they feel at having to perform an obligation is synthesized on a more primal hormonal level as a threat. The fact that it's words instead of physical cohesion is harder for the hormonal parts of a brain to digest even if the rest of the brain might understand that. 
in response to, we can just divorce. Something like, honey why would you say that I want to be with you forever? That's why we created a baby together. Could help to de-escalated the situation and from that space. If she has good will and a bit of control, desire to actually understand each other in the argument. She's likely to answer with her motivations, reasons as to why she said it and you can work on trying to soothe the underlying triggers. If you can, try leading with a compromise something you like about her, how you really feel, even, wow that hurt me because I love you, then ask her a question from that position of dismantling yourself and it's more likely to dismantle her and help get to the root feeling. Her words may not be practical or what you need right now as a couple. But it likely comes from a place of self, other protection. If I had to guess, I'd guess it's a very primitive urge to escape the danger, fear response that was triggered more. Hyper-reactively now she is pregnant that his words may have caused they don't have to be words about her, just a key generalisms that make him a threat to women, or somehow a threat to her even on a philosophical level. She was trying to delineate that danger man, from you and she didn't have data to corroborate that. You were, with us and not against us. Quote, you didn't shut down whatever caused the fear, danger, stress response trigger. So now, in a heightened state of agitation on some primitive level she either sees you as part of this man's in-group, aka a threat, or she makes you her in-group. But this argument and your responses made you her out-group and his in-group that you'd protect him over her. Just really primitive the way the brain processes those feelings. I don't know what your friend said but one way I might interpret, I can leave you anytime, is as if this man is a potential danger to me like his friend is I can run away from that danger because I don't live in a primitive society anymore. Biology. Go away primitive fear response. It's hormonal, maybe. But our hormones are designed to read more negatively into situations during pregnancy for primitive safety-based reasons. It's not all just hormones. These hormones kept our species alive and may also undo us all. If you can use this time to mark yourself as someone who is safe and not unsafe that hyper-reactive sense of threat, danger won't be directed at you. But if you kinda make yourself a target of it by not realizing it has a biological, primitive purpose you end up like the other bozos in this thread thinking she's using you or that it's just hormones, but even some of the craziest hormonal reactions could have some primitive protective roots. Sounds like your wife's hormones are out of whack, which is understandable, but her bavier and treatment of you is unacceptable. And she said, only if you want to. Man facepalming. Echo most commenters' sentiments about the relationship between pregnancy and fat shaming. At 10 weeks pregnant she may not be showing or even have actually gained any weight yet. But she is likely bloated from retaining water. I was a normal weight before pregnancy. 123 pounds. But now at 34 weeks have gained 23 pounds. 146 pounds. I look and feel like a beached whale. I am definitely more sensitive to weight-related commentary than I previously was. Also, pregnancy hormones can cause heightened emotions. During the past couple of weeks I have started fights with my husband for getting a haircut two days before an event, taking out the rubbish when I didn't think it needed to be taken out until the next day, and running a half load of laundry when I already got all the laundry done two days prior. With reflection, I realize none of those things were actually valid reasons for picking fights. And I think a combination of stress and third trimester hormones, exhaustion was a big contributor. So give your wife some space to calm down. She is going through a brand new experience. Losing control of her body. And perhaps quite fearful of becoming a single parent. 
I feel like there is a lot more going on that she is possibly not communicating. That is a really huge and hurtful thing to say. I would have a conversation about what she wants her future to look like and who would be included. In that vision, maybe asks what she wants out of the marriage or what brought up these feelings. Best of luck to you and your wife. Pregnancy hormones can make a woman more prone to being argumentative and other emotions. When my wife was pregnant with our first child, we went on a cruise to Alaska. Turns out we found out she was pregnant two weeks before we left. After we got home, we got into an argument over a phone conversation I had with my mother where I complained about something that happened on the plane on the way home. Not between us. Just a random thing that happened. It was the hormones. I don't know if what your wife said was just the hormones or not. But you might consider talking to her about it when you're both not upset. Preferably when she's in a good mood. And don't wait until after the birth because you'll both be sleep deprived and stressed out for a few months dealing with a newborn. Good luck with parenthood. First of all. That sucks you had to hear your friend say body shamey shit. Your wife just witnessed you co-signing a friend body shaming someone and calling them a bitch. Unprovoked. BC I'm pretty sure Lizzo didn't do anything to your friend. While you don't need to lecture your friend. Saying something like, hey man. That's shitty. Would have gone a long way to show your wife that you don't share the same values as your friend. You gonna be cool with your friend calling your wife fat when she's beyond 10 weeks pregnant? What if your child turns out to be heavy set? What if your wife can't shed the baby weight? Your wife took your silence as complicity. And if it's not complicity, what's the harm in hearing her out? After all, isn't that one of the tenets of marriage? Hearing the other person out? Frankly. I'd be looking at my husband differently if he didn't say shit to his friends. He's be looking at me differently if I did the same. If you want to stay married, get a licensed marriage and family therapist. If your wife wants to stay married then she'll join you. If she doesn't, stay in therapy for your own mental health and well-being. Therapy can affirm whether the parties involved want to stay together and help them continue or it affirms the couple's decision to split up decide which one you want why and proceed through therapy hopefully you two can find better ways to communicate and be kinder to each other and with therapy your self-esteem will improve enough to where you no longer have to hang with assholes that say disparaging things about other people's bodies he's right though lizzo is super fat update me now it seems like a choice between putting your kid through the divorce or not to me it sounds like a petty passive aggressive move that she's using to instill fear def a huge red flag but i think it's worth trying to talk to her seriously about working on things between the two of you and letting her know that saying things like that are not okay nor helpful for the relationship when you first think about ending something, it's just a matter of time. Of course, not all couples stay married forever. That's a fact. But if you doesn't even feel like you will stay together to the death, then what's the point? When it comes to the child, I am no expert. But if you're going to get a divorce, I feel like it would be better if it happened earlier than later so the kid gets used to that way of living. Let things cool down and then talk to her again. If she is serious about this and plans of not staying married then I'd say cut your loses. That was definitely said to threaten you. No one gets married while planning an eventual divorce. Well, almost no one. She doesn't seem well. If this isn't typical behavior, then it probably is the hormones. I would be looking at an escape plan with a wife that said she didn't plan on staying married. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content.
Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.